Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Welcome to my mess. So, hope you all had a good day yesterday. Today is Tuesday and I just mailed out another mystery box, so that was fun. Uh, I'll have to put together some more goodies. Well, you know my obsession with file folders and tiny things. So these were some um, I had made over the weekend using index cards, uh, some tabs. I had made a bunch of tabs. I just used um, random ephemera that was on my desk, pieces of, um, uh, what do you call this? Oh, yeah, colored, um, not seam binding, sorry. This was just on um, designer paper, uh, index cards you can write in them. And yeah, so I was just playing around. You can also do them on using book paper. So um, I'm going to add these to my, my box of um, things to go in mystery boxes. So I'll put them over here. Try to stay organized a little bit. So today I wanted to make some, but I thought, well, let's just use some paper and odds and ends. So... For this, I have some book papers. I'm using up this book in his steps because I like the feel of the text on here. So we have that. Then I just have some um, plain craft cardstock. And I cut this at six and a quarter by four and a half, random. Okay? So just cut it. So you want one of these for your cover. This is um, the one that I just made for a sample. I rounded the corners with my corner punch. You don't need to do that. You could use scissors. You don't have to round them. Uh, if you don't have scissors or a corner punch, you could always use something round and um, just trace it and then cut it. So... Uh, I'd find something smaller than this. You know, maybe something like that. And, um, yeah, just trace it. Help if I could see. And then cut. So, you know, you don't need tools if, we don't, if you don't have them. So we have some of these. Uh, then for mine... I'm still using up some of this, um, it's roughly five and a half by four uh, paper that I got in a pad. So I took some of them, there's two sheets here. And then part of this sheet is in here. Uh, I used some of the tabs that I made uh, for here. We're going to use a word. We're going to use a stamp, or I thought on these, we would use these little tags that I just made as our focal point. So I've, um, I dyed some cheesecloth. Oh, I got lost there for a minute. I dyed some cheesecloth, so we can use that too. So you need a focal point, maybe some words. I have all that here. I have some words, some numbers. You know, I pulled things out. Oh, we could use some flowers from our stash, whatever. Okay? And then this one I made so that you could tuck it in. So it's got this little tab here. But I use this little tab punch from Stampin' Up. Little slot. So, yeah. So it's very simple. So you need a background piece. You need two sets of for the cover, and then if you want to put um, something inside, uh, I just have some copy paper I'm going to put in here, just so if you wanted to write in here, okay? So that's what we're going to do today, my friends. Very simple. Well, it's simple, but there's a couple steps, okay? So let's just take our time here so we get it right the first time. 
don't need that. So I already started pulling one together here. So I have my background and I rounded my corners. Then I um I pre-cut two of my papers, okay? And for this, based on this, this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this one is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I want the front a little shorter, and I'll show you why. So you get this, and um, we're going to glue the back on because I want to glue before we punch so that our punch here is hidden. You don't see it back here, okay? So we're going to just um, flip it over and we're going to put our, our back piece on. Now we'll just use, um, I'm not going to sew on these, so we're going to use our, our glitter glue. So normally, I know when you make file folders, you fold them in half right away. We're not going to do that this time. I'll show you why in a minute. So we're just going to put this on the left side. And we can put the front one on, too. And that'll go over here. I see this didn't go on very straight. Let's see if we can resurrect it before it's too late. And I know I ripped it a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. I can cover it. my problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this will be the front. This is the back. So, on the back, you want to take uh, your punch. Don't put it way up here because then you'll punch it open. I leave, I leave a little room here. Wait, wait. I want to also put a piece on here, okay? So, I don't know where my piece went. That should have went here. So let me look through my stash. And get something that can go there. long enough. So we want to put something on here because you want to reinforce it. Okay, so we're just going to put this here and that's okay that So then when we fold it, it'll have some paper on here, okay? Oh, and I want to put my tab in there. 
I want everything to be covered so it reinforces it all. Now I could have put this underneath here, but that's okay. So let's just trim this piece up here. Sorry about that. So now that we have this here, we can take this and punch a hole. No. I didn't want to go through here. So it's going to have to happen that way. I am so sorry. Okay, so it went through the back, which I didn't want. And then you fold this over and you put this in here. And then you can reinforce. Okay, so I wanted that to be covered. So actually you want to put this piece you want to put this piece on, then do your hole and then cover the back. Okay? So we'll do the next one right. But this is the start of it and then you can go through and embellish it. This will do the work. So yeah, paint a little, a little minuffin around a little bit. But see, isn't that cute? And then this can just go in here, and it holds it shut. So I'm not gonna use that. Let's um, decorate this one real quick. So I said I was gonna use one of these for my focal point because I just think they're cute, and we could put that behind a little piece of um, coffee dyed cheesecloth I just made and don't need much and just this for some layers I just thought that would look cute on there you know so this would be your focal point and then, like I said, you could have a um, a word. I'm going to use these words because I like I like the way they are on this paper. Uh, daydream. Apparently, I'm daydreaming right now because I showed you how to do that in the wrong way. But we'll make it right. Okay. So that'll need something behind it. Let's just take a piece of uh, this word paper and put that on. Oh my goodness. It's just working. Me and my glue, huh? Honestly. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my, oh my word, that was not good. Hmm. 
lots of blue. That'll go on there. And we'll have our focal point. And we'll take one of these numbers because I like them. I like the color. Boy, that glue is wild today. have our word. All right. So let's put that on here. Our wet glue can go here. And our focal point. That also has a little word, but that's okay. And our number. So, let's put him down here. I think it's a number. Okay. I like to do threes. So there you go, my friends. And if you want, you could put a um, piece of journal paper back here for writing. Okay, so let's make one where we we do the back the right way. Although on this, um, we can just cover this. Let's, um, oh, here's the strip I was looking for. Let's just um, let's just put this on here. And that'll cover our label. And cover that hole, just to reinforce it a little bit. Okay, but we'll do this the next one properly. All right, so... This is crazy glue today, huh? All right, so we have our piece, and we're going to round our corners. And you can use cream-colored cardstock. You could use uh, colored. I just have some crap left over. All right, so... Um, For the front, I think I want this, and I said the front was two and three quarters, two and three quarters by by four and a quarter, two and three quarters. So let's do it from here. Two and three quarters. Keep that by. Four and a quarter. And we want to round this side here. Okay. Save 
use it. And then this one was, this one was three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So three and a quarter, three and a quarter. And then this one, these two sides have to be rounded. So I just fold them in half because the paper's thin. And um, that's just, there you go. So this is, oh, I did need this side, I'm sorry. I didn't need that rounded, but that's okay. So this and this. So over here, we want to put this, we want to put this here before we punch our hole and we want to put our tab in. So let's find a tab. Uh, you can make tabs if you don't have any like these. Some of these are old, but they work. And if you don't have... Um, Double, you can glue them together, which we'll probably do here. So, first we'll glue our tab uh, together on top. And we want to position where we want it. Let's put this one down a little bit. I like to have things ready made so you can just pop things in together. So let's put it right here. So that'll be covered. Then when we put this on, This will cover this, and then we'll punch our hole. So, let's put some glue here. And, uh, and we'll trim. We'll trim. Nope. Okay. Okay. So now when we fold it, that'll be there and that's going to match this paper. Okay. And before we put this on the back, we're going to punch. So we're just going to come over here someplace and punch. So then when we close like this, that's there and now we can cover this. So we're going to put this on here. Okay. Oh, man. I love file folders and tiny things. See, now everything is sandwiched nicely. This is the way I like it. This can be a little bit trimmed here. It's a little messy. Let's see if we can straighten it out at all. Yeah, that's a little bit 
better. Now I'm not inking or sewing these, feel free. I don't think this one will go in. Okay. And then we could put our, our front piece on. And then there's no interference. And I have found some junk mail that was delivered the other day, some flyers, and I have a project in mind. So, we don't need that one. We don't need that. So then you could, now when you close it, see how pretty that looks? So this matches. So again, we'll take one of our focal points. Sorry, butterfly. Well, we can keep the butterfly. We can put this up here. Get a piece of our... Um, Just have it like stick it down a little bit, and we'll get a word. These are printed on a uh, tissue paper. Happy now. I just like the neutral colors. That's what we're going for here. We have our word, we have our paper to put it on, um, and we wanted to put a little number on it. And that's my three, okay? So let's see where we want to lay this stuff. I like to build my ephemera and then find a place for it, you know. So, I don't know, butterfly, you might have to go, you might have to go butterfly, I'm sorry. I'm talking to a butterfly. All right, happiness can go over here and our number can go over here. All right, let's do it. And then our focal point. And our word. And our number. And some writing spot. So there you have it, my friends. Simple, cute, and um, yeah, that one got a little wonky, but we're okay. Um, here's my template. I like them. 
You could hang a little charm here if you choose to. So these are going to go in my uh, something. If anyone's interested in them, they will be for sale. So I'm going to finish this one off camera, and I'll be right back. No, I won't be back. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a blessed, beautiful day, and toodles.